Welcome to Business Seek Now. In today's startup funding news, we're going to talk to you about how Nikhil Kamath, who is a founder of Zerada, who has not taken an external investment from the companies or from any external source like angel investors or PC group to grow Zeroda to a next level. In fact, it's a billion dollar company without even getting an external source of funding or without even Zeroda's founder losing more than 51% of the stakes. In fact, he's taken very less or not to less of investment from any external sources. The same Nikhil Kamath of Zeroda has invested in many startups as an angel investor. Now, what makes Nikhil Kamath to invest into startups? Because he himself has not raised funding from any angel investors or VC groups. Before we move forward and tell you more about it, if you're somebody who have come to our channel, you ensure that you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon and select all at the bell icon so that you do not miss on any of these business case studies and startup funding news. So now the interesting fact is Nikhil Kamath, who has invested into many startups, who has never taken an investment or an external investment from any VC group or angel investors, himself being an angel investors in the least of startups because he knows that an investment into a startup will pay him back in more than 10 to 50 to sometimes even 100 times. At the same time, there is a little risk involved if a startup fails, but at the same time, these founders are well versed with which startup will going to give them more than 100 times returns, 50 times returns or at least a 10 times returns. Hence, Nikhil Kamath with this strategy is investing in startups even after having his own company to be a startup, which is Zeroda, which has already been a billion dollar company. As we already know that if it is a billion dollar company, it is worth more than 8,000 crore rupees and more. Now let us know which is that startup that Nikhil Kamath has back now. Let us give you more in detail about it. Nikhil Kamath's Gruhas, G-R-U-H-A-S, invests in Finfluencer Sharon Hegde's edtech platform, The One Person Club. Now again, this is very important for you to understand that Nikhil Kamath's Gruhas, Gruhas has invested in Finfluencer. What is Finfluencer? Before you know where he has invested, you should know what is Finfluencer. You've seen YouTubers. Under YouTubers, you've seen people giving your content on entertainment, giving your content on edutainment, which is education plus giving an entertainment and giving your content on information, giving your content on news. Likewise, any YouTuber or anybody who influence people by the knowledge of finance is called as Finfluencer. Likewise, now Nikhil Kamath has invested in Finfluencer's startup by name One Person Club and Nikhil Kamath's firm or you can say sub supported by Gruhas has invested into it. Now let's look into it more in details and let you also remind you about it that One Person Club is an edtech platform which gives an information regards to finance. Zeroda co-founder Nikhil Kamath's backed venture capital which is VC firm Gruhas has invested Indian national rupees 10 crore that is 1.2 million dollars in Finfluencer Sharon Hegde's financial edtech platform, The One Person Club. So as you know, it is very clear, Nikhil Kamath himself has a venture capital firm. Again, we've given you more in detail about what is venture capital firm. Venture capital firm is nothing but it is a firm which invests others money and also majority of the money of the members in the venture capital group into startups. Nikhil Kamath's Gruhas has invested into One Person Club, which is an edtech platform, which gives an information on financial edtech platform. So now let's look into what is the fundraise. It was 10 crore Indian rupees, which is $1.2 million. So when a startup gets 10 crore of funding, what is that series round of funding? Let's look into it. If you're somebody who have not watched our videos on series of funding, funding rounds, in a startup then make sure that you watch our videos which are already listed in our channel this funding was a part of pre-series a round of the startup one person club 
which will be used by the capital to expand operations and attract talent. Now again, the funding of 10 crore rupees is being raised by one person club from Nikhil Kamath's Gruhas to part of its series, pre-series A round. Pre-series A round means after seed round. Seed round is kind of a first investment in a startup which typically is to be from anywhere between 50 lakhs to up to 8 crore. And after seed round, there are least of series of round which begins from pre-series A round that is pre-series A round before the series A round starts and then it goes with series A, B, C, D and it goes on. Likewise, before the series A round starts, after the seed round, they have received a funding of 10 crore rupees. We are not sure about how much of stake was exchanged in between that but we are also given you information on how much typically a startup gives if they raise the funds at this stage. Typically, it should be somewhere between 10 to 15% of the stake which Nikhil Kamath's venture capital firm has got it in exchange of 10 crore rupees. We assume that it might be a valuation of 100 crore or 150 crore, but we are not sure about it, but we are just giving you an example so that you understand what is the typical percentage of stake is being exchanged in pre-series A round. A little bit more about what is a startup one person club and give you more in detail about it. The one person club has a social finance platform. Co-founder Hegde said it combines the power of education with the convenience of fintech. So this is all about in today's startup funding news. I hope you are understanding how the founders also invest into startups and at the same time you are also able to understand how the funding round happens and what is a typical funding round happens after seed round and what is that exact amount you get that we've seen in today's startup funding news as well. If you're somebody who wants to join a practical MBA or if you're somebody who wants to do an MBA or if you're somebody who's looking to raise more than 50% of your salary, then make sure that you join our free practical MBA webinar where you'll also get to know about how you can be a part of startups and also own a stage of a startup. Link is in the description. I hope you have liked this video. If you have liked this video, do not forget to like and subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and select all in the bell icon so that you do not miss on any of these startup funding news, business news update and startup and business case studies. See you in the next video. Why should you join a practical MBA free webinar? Because here you will get to know how you can do an industry best MBA, not a usual normal and same MBA from universities. Here you get to learn things practically of business from the experts of business. Want to know who they are? They are experts from big companies like Google, like Microsoft, like LinkedIn, Infosys, and many more. Not only that, you'll also get to learn from startup founders, business owners, as well as industry experts. It does not only stop there. You also get to learn from the biggest giant in the MBA industry, I'm talking about the professors who have written books and have done remarkably well than the normal professors. Plus, to add to this as a bonus, you get 100% placement assistance from us. You also get to know how you can get into startup and own a part of startup by getting an ESOP. In fact, you'll be placed in most of trending and startups which can pay you more. If you're somebody who's looking to do an MBA, then make sure that you join our free practical MBA webinar where you get to know more in details about this. Make sure you join this webinar. The link is in the description.